we are going to solve another problem two percent zero sum game to solve by minimax maximum theory just to practice we have taken this problem i am discussing here in short ok player a has four strategies strategy 1 2 3 and 4 and player b has five strategies 1 2 3 4 and 5 the payoffs of the matrix are written on the payoff matrix just i am discussing one or two what is this say minus means what if player a is taking the strategy 3 and player b is taking the strategy 3 then the outcome or payoff of the matrix will be minus 3 minus sign indicates the value 3 will be in favor of player b whatever the gain of player b will be the loss of player a that means player a is losing 3 units and the sum total is 0 plus 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 that's why it is called 2 percent zero sum gain that means all positive payoffs are in favor of player A and all negatives in favor of player B. Actually the matrix is plotted or written in favor of player B. This is the concept. Now how to solve? We will apply here minimax and maximum theory. How will proceed? We have already shown in our previous problem. Still we are going to discuss another problem. This is 4y5 problem and 2 percent zero sum again and we are going to use minimax maximum criteria to solve the problem first of all what you will do for each row you will find the minimum element and put or write it to the right side of the matrix against corresponding row first i am taking the first row what is the minimum value the payoffs are minus 2, 0, 0, 5, 3. And out of this, the minimum one is minus 2. That's why I have written minus 2 here. For second row, what will be the minimum value? Out of 3, 2, plus 1, 2, 2, the minimum value is plus 1. For third row, similarly, I am not repeating, the minimum value is minus 4 and the fourth row, the minimum value is minus 6. In this way, for all rows, you have to find out the minimum values and to be put right side of the corresponding rows. In this case, minus 2, plus 1, minus 4, minus 6. This minimum has already been found out and written in this way. Then what is maximum? Maximum means out of all these minimum values, you have to find out the maximum one. That means out of minus 2, plus 1, minus 4, minus 6, the maximum one is plus 1. I have subtracted to indicate. That means maximum is equal to plus 1. You can say this is equal to plus 1. The same process we have to do for each column, but instead of minimum value, you have to put the maximum value for each column to the corresponding column. I am taking first the first column. Out of minus 2, plus 3, minus 4, plus 5, what is the maximum value? Plus 5. That I have written for this column. Similarly, for this column, we have to find out the maximum value 0, 2, minus 3, 5, 3 plus 3, the maximum value is plus 3. For this column, the maximum value is plus 1. I am not repeating in detail. For this column, the maximum value is plus 5. And for this column, the maximum value is plus 6. In this way, you have to find out a maximum value for each column and put against the respective column. 
That's why you see the maximum. Now you have to find out the minimax. What is the minimax? Minimax means the minimum value of all these maximum values. What is the maximum value or minimum value? Sorry. Of the 5, 3, plus 1, 5, 6, the minimum value is plus 1. That's why minimax is equal to plus 1. Now see, the minimax and maximum value is same. And this is coincides at one place, and which is called the shuttle point. It is actually shuttle point or you can say the equilibrium point and which is actually the value of the game. That means in this case, what is the value of the game? What is our solution? The value of the game is plus 1. And what strategy will be selected by player A and player B? Because in this case the equilibrium point is here. That's why player A will select the strategy 2, which is the best strategy for player A. And player B will select the strategy, sorry, player B will select the strategy 3, which is the best strategy. In this way, by applying minimax and maximum criteria, we can find out the solution of a game problem or value of the game and the best strategy to be selected by player A and player B. Why player A will not select other than the best strategy? In this case it is 2. We have already discussed in our previous problem. That's why I am not repeating that part. Now, one problem I like to mention here. Sir, you are taking the problem where always minimax is equal to maximum. That's why you are facing the problem. But if the maximum and minimax is not same, then what you will do? Suppose the problem is such that the minimum value is say different, not plus one, say minus four, minus like that. Any other one. That means your minimax not is equal to maximum. Then what you will do? Now next problem I will show you how we solve it. Then, how we start to solve any game problem, two person, zero sum game to solve? This is my suggestion. Always we try to solve the problem by applying minimax and maximum criteria first. If it is not possible, when you have checked that minimax not is equal to maximum, minimax, minimax, not is equal to maximum then you will go for the next method only then that is definitely you first check that minimax and maximum exist or not if you exist then your solve is over you need not to proceed further if it is not so then you have to proceed further that i am going to show you how we will solve it i will discuss in that episode in that Probably. Thank you.